tune in, time to 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 tune in. We got a big show for you today. We got a lot to cover. We're gonna jump right into the fantasy hot list. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Week 15 here on Sideline. Got a great show for you as always. With me, my co-hosts Gerard and Kirsten. We're gonna jump right into it. We got these hot ads courtesy of. Yahoo Sports, and on some of these I'm going to ref, uh, defer here to our resident expert of fantasy football, Gerard. Gerard, Ryan Terrain, a hot ad. Why is this guy still out there? Well, he was injured for the past couple weeks. So when he went out, Keelan Williams came in, and now Keelan Williams is injured, so guess what? He's Clinton fun. Portis is hurt Clinton also. Clinton Portis is on the IR, so you got to have a running back. Hey, Listen, and with, is his, pretty good. with as bad as Donovan McNabb has been playing, look for them to hand the ball off a lot to Ryan Terrain. I want to say Donovan McNabb is terrible. It's that, it's I, that I, whole I, 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 it's tried whole him, I, I tried to give him a little bit of love there by saying he's been bad. He's terrible. It's the whole offensive scheme. It's like when Dan Reeves with the Falcons. You put that playbook out there, everybody knows the plays. I uh, worked wow. for John Elway. It wouldn't work now. It works for. It wouldn't work <laughs> now. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. I'm Owen sorry. Daniels in Houston. Come on now. I'm he was not hurt sure too. Why he's up here. He was I'm hurt too. Sure. He was out for like six games. So. So people think he's gonna come back and do something. That's he, why they're He's one of up. the best targets. He was one of the big three: Matt Schaub, Owen Daniels, and Arian Foster. So he's gonna come back hard. That's see. I. I'm, I'm, with, oh, I'm with you on that. Kira. I just don't think. Yes, that's yeah. why she's upset. How about the? How about Arizona's defense? Now, play. what is what is Arizona <laughs> and defense? Those two things are like couldn't be on opposite ends of the spectrum. It's not. It's not that. It's that they play Denver. Yes. That's Whoever that's plays Denver, right. that's, that's the that's defense it. is going to get picked up. Whoever yeah. plays Denver. Well, and a lot of times we've seen this year that defenses have been made to look really good in fantasy football by special teams scoring some points, and that wasn't the case. Seattle. Seattle, absolutely. Yeah. That happened several times. Now, speaking of Arizona, Tim Hightower running back here. I don't th th this, is this just because they can't find a quarterback? They can't it's find because they were the playing Denver. Again, it's, because it's, right. so it's who they're the playing. Reason. Listen, Den Denver is everybody's fantasy football maker. So they are the girlfriend in the fantasy football. This year. Unbelievable. They and, of course, the only one that's justifiable to me, that Patriots defense, has been shutting down everybody, as well as their offense, been <laughs> scoring on everybody. We can just put the whole Patriots team on the fantasy hot ad. Just add everybody. I mean, they've been doing good. They haven't allowed more than two, how, 10 points in the last two do, games. So. How did, how did they play? Uh, they played. Uh, J E S T. Oh wait, no, just. I'm Can't sorry. spell. No, I'm just saying that's what y'all playing. Whatever. Oh, they, they played the T E R R I B L E's. Why? The terribles. I, Why? I can spell. Horrible. Why? But I thought they just played. You know. <laughs> Danny Woodard. <coughs> Danny Woodard. <coughs> Well, listen, moving on here now, speaking of week 14, we're going to wrap this up as we always do with who impressed us, who disappointed us. I'm going to start with Gerard here. Who do you got on the impressed list? My impressed list was the entire game, the Eagles and Cowboys. Loved it. That okay. game was great from start to finish. I wanted the Cowboys to win just because the Eagles have a tiebreaker on us. That's the only reason I really for them. <laughs> I really, I'm going to be honest with you. We got to make the first season. Here, give it to me. My impress was the Detroit Lions. Like, finally, they finally got that win. And it was over Green Bay. So it wasn't over, like, a crappy team. It was over Green Bay without Aaron Rodgers. You know what? I, no, they actually knocked Aaron Rodgers out of that game. Exactly. I can tell you this right now. The Detroit Lions, we've been saying it all, all year. Whatever they are, I think they've got three wins now. They're You're the right. best three win team in NFL. They should have, uh, they should have, they should so have much seven more. wins. Un they should have a lot more. Right? I mean, this, this team has wins. lost so many close games. Definitely building for the future. Um, I, I love this team. I like their players. If they could ever get solid at the quarterback position, get Matt Stafford healthy. If they stop drafting wide receivers, they might have had Still one doing by now. that. Still right. doing that. Anyway, my impress, definitely the Eagles. That game was incredible. Mike Vick continues um, to play as well as any quarterback in the league. So happy to see that. And I like the Eagles in the NFC. I'm definitely a Falcons fan. So anybody other than the Falcons, I'm going to root for the Eagles. I hope they. That's in the NFC, though, right? That's Not what I said. The AFC. I said that okay, anybody, like any, <laughs> anybody other than the Falcons, okay. I'll root for the Eagles. He put that disclaimer. Yeah, he had, he had to put that disclaimer. I need to make sure of that. Let's get to the disappointed now. I know there were some, some teams and some games out there that had everybody scratching their head. Um, what do you got, Jerome? You know what? I'm changing mine because somebody agitated me before the show. So I'm going to scratch out what I was going to say. 
And I'm going to go with the Jets disappointed me. They played the <laughs> Dolphins. We can agree that the Dolphins are not a good team. No, they're not. Mm-hmm. How many points did you put up? Two field goals? Six. Two it was field- a good six. Kickers what? are not important. In this game, they were. What because without the kicker, they would have nothing. What is wrong with your boyfriend? No. What is wrong with him? We're just coming off are a really bad. Through, is it relationship problems that's, 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 that's keeping him unfocused? <laughs> I think he got some clear we'll ceiling and dots we'll trying to fine. clear up. That's what it is. We that's where it's still going. I am not losing faith in my team. Okay, so we'll you're going to lose three straight when you play the Steelers because y'all getting drugged. Y'all lost to the Dolphins. You really think you're going to beat the Steelers? <laughs> right. Come on. It's Steelers, Steelers are hot right now. So Steelers Their are very hot right now. Their defense is hot right now. They're oh, so who, not so much. Question. Whose defense is better? Dolphins <laughs> or Steelers? <laughs> I so, just, so if they scored six fine. against the Dolphins, what are they going to put up? Gonna, negative 10 negative against the Steelers? 15, you're going to give the Steelers points. That's how bad They've been waiting to do this all we have, Sanchez has been throwing, <laughs> He's been throwing pick sixes to North Gwinnett High School. So I'm I think saying, the Steelers defense wow. and Troy Palomalu wow, is going to take wow. a couple to the house on it. He's uh, saying you got Juco players on your team. I know. That's I'm what saying. He no, he's so, the high okay, school. Okay, so, so who's your disappointment? I know it's not the Jets. It, it, no, it needs my to be. disappointment was not the Jets. It was Kansas City. A complete blowout. Yes. Unbelievable. I'm going to agree with you on that starting quarterback. Without Matt Castle, Kansas City reverted to themselves. It's, it's, Without, say exactly what you okay. said in, before the show. Just be, so she, the defense was out too. Yeah, basically. They so the whole team basically. just we didn't show up. <laughs> they look up. like the Jets out of the field. That one kind of hurt right up in here. It, it, two feet here, two feet. I know. No, uh, no literally that, that was that was me too. Kansas City. I understand. I understand with Matt Castle being out. Brody Croyle has been a starter, but he's 0 and 10 starting games in the NFL. But come on, That's I mean, your defense wasn't out either. That's I don't think they, they benched the whole defense or whatever. So to give up 31 to San Diego, who has been hot, I will give you that. But but 31 nothing to oh. arguably the MVP of the league. Held yes, I can see that. Yards. I can no, see don't, that. Don't, don't say Philip Rivers the MVP that. of the league. I can see that. Yep. <laughs> Philip Rivers MVP of the league. When 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 Tom Brady, Mike Vick, or if you just want to talk quarterback, Tom Brady and Mike Vick are out there. He's not gonna be eligible. How's he not gonna be eligible? He didn't play enough games. I hate him. No. Oh my goodness. Mike Vick for MVP. All right, now to wrap up week 14, we're gonna talk about these week 14 leaders, and as we always do, we're gonna ask the question: Can they repeat that success going into week 15? First guy on the list, Matt Schaub, 393 yards. He's playing Tennessee's defense. Not good against the Ravens, exactly. But he but he threw that costly pick six in overtime. It's, they, they've done that two or three times now. It's killing Houston. But I expect Matt Schaub to put up another 300-yard game against the Tennessee Titans. Who I do. Just because. Just because. Just, he, just, he got, just, he got Owen Daniels back. Now he got one of his He got he got Kirsten's guy Owen Daniels back. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Terrain, 172 yards last week. They're playing the Cowboys, wow. who are going to be very very motivated mm-hmm. to get back that Week One loss. Dallas Sorry. has been playing really well now, guys. I know they, they they lost to the Eagles. They lost to the Saints on Thanksgiving. Who they should have won. Mm-hmm. Dallas is playing really well. As much as I love my Redskins, I'm going to say, say blowout on this one. And Ryan Terrain gets maybe 50 yards on the ground. You said your Redskins. Yes. Okay. He did. I, I reserve the right to root for teams that I played for. I, I just let me just put that. So out that will be 30 I mean, of the 32. No, no, that would actually. <laughs> <laughs> you two are Coming from the guy who's never had an athletic bone in his body. I'm sorry, Whatever. I didn't say that out loud. I didn't say that out loud. Deshaun Jackson, I'm a man champion. Philadelphia <laughs> Eagles, 210 yards. Him and Mike Vick continue to tear the league up. They are playing the New York Giants. I love this game. I love I Mike Vick and Deshaun good. Jackson to keep it up. I was like, wow, we're getting no arguments out of these guys. What is because going on? Because it's the Giants. Sure about We've that seen game. what happens I'm just when they try to, to play it. big games. We've seen what happens to the Giants. Key stat on that one, not that it really pertains to their offense, but the Giants um, lost Steve Smith. Um, so that's going to be a big deal right now. Pay, uh, Eli Manning, another guy out. Who are they going to go to? I don't know. Philadelphia's defense has been a little Manningham? bit shaky. Maybe. Mario Manningham, maybe. Hakeem Nix. But but to lose Steve Smith, They've already that's lost a big, big loss. They've already lost to the Eagles. If they lose to the Eagles again, game. their playoff hopes might be, be out. Bad. Unless the Packers just don't get Aaron Rodgers back. <laughs> then the Packers are out. Now listen, I want to talk about some of these guys now that had three TDs. We already talked about Matt Schaub. How about David Garrard? Against the Raiders. Against the, the Raiders. Raiders. I mean, the Raiders, you know, 30 years ago, we, we talked about the Raiders defense. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. so much anymore, but you still these got Raiders are much awesome more game. Wow. And another guy on this list, Darren McFadden, yeah. on that Raiders offense. Guess who he's playing? They playing Denver? Yes. <laughs> oh, <I laughs> McFadden could have eight touchdowns. So we'll see him on our He could have Madden numbers. Week. 
He could. He, he could, have he could put up Madden numbers. He could. They should hand the ball yards. to Darren McFadden every time. Forty-eight times and let him get four hundred and sixty-two hey, yards don't, and seven touchdowns. You don't just put him in the Wildcat. Don't even need a quarterback. Exactly. Put him Take in the Jason Wildcat. Campbell out. Let him sit down for a half. <laughs> right. It's Denver. Now here's a surprising one. Alex Smith from I didn't even know he was still on the 49ers team. They've started everybody but him. And this I thought year. Troy was still out there doing this. I, Troy Smith should be the quarterback there. But, I mean, they be mm-hmm. blacked out where I'm at, so I don't really pay attention. Yeah, to the 49ers. Are, you gotta have, you gotta have the direct. It's the direct 40 TV, winers. Direct TV NFL package. Oh, goodness. Got to have it. (laughs) Anyway, they are playing San Diego. Actually, Mm -hmm. um, I would expect Alex Smith to get picked three times. Okay, yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe like five sacks. Five sacks. A fumble. Maybe Talk about another 31 nothing game. Unless San Francisco really brings it and tries to play to save Mike Singletary's job and all of that type of crap that they always get involved in and get the ball to Brian Westbrook. Could be another 31 nothing. He round. is playing like hmm. the, the No, he's, he's, a, he's a man. He's I a man. was amazed by that. That's yeah. great. He's Do your thing. Great. Do your thing. All right, now moving on to our hot topics. we got some very hot ones for you today. And one in particular that has me very peeved, Sal Alosi, the Jets. Strength and conditioning coach. Despicable. Has been suspended now indefinitely by the team and by the league for tripping a player during a game. Absolutely unacceptable. And this one really, really really gets me going because I, can, I played I that tell. position that Nolan Carroll was playing that gunner, uh, the guy that he tripped. And I can tell you what, man, that thing is nasty enough as it gets to have to deal with guys on the sideline tripping you and doing whatever. Now, you know, a lot of people are saying, is this punishment too harsh? Is it too soft? I don't think it's harsh enough. I, I don't either. I, I don't I'll think be it's honest harsh with enough. you. You know, the guy made uh-huh. a mistake. No question about that. And and I don't think, he, you know, he, anybody should, he doesn't need to be hung or put in jail or whatever. But I will say this, he needs to be fired because if a player ever did something similar to that, the player would probably be banned from the league on that one. So Sal Alosi needs to be fired. They, they, they are too soft He could have ended his career. He yeah. could have ended two that Two inches lowered, he might have broke his leg. And, and hit a knee. That would have been it. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, then, I'm telling you, had, 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 I don't, now I don't know if Nolan Carroll knew that that had happened. No, he, he said tripping. he did. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he knew. He said he but did. But I'll tell you what, on Monday or, or Sunday night when I got home and watched SportsCenter and saw Dude, that, this guy here. Yeah. I would have driven. <laughs> All the way back up to New York, and I don't feel Alosi. safe here anymore. I don't. Jimmy's upset. He's, he's a boxer too. I understand. No. Like, I mean, seriously. That's un- un- I agree. I agree with you 100. percent Messed up. He, he he was way out of line, and I don't think honestly Rex Ryan said enough to make me think that they didn't play. No, and, and here's the thing. I'm I, sorry. I will say this. Now let me say this. I, I can. I, I vividly remember as a player being instructed. If a gunner, if, if I'm standing on silence and a gunner comes out of bounds, they tell you don't make any effort to get out of the guy's way. Make him run around yeah. you. But there's a big difference. I don't have a problem with the line, with them lining up along the sidelines, making the guy run farther out of bounds and run around him. But when we start tripping guys, now I got a problem with that. That's I ran into guys all the time. There'd be players on the sidelines who weren't watching the game, and you'd run into guys. But they no, had on pads, no, no so problem. Exactly. it was, it was no whatever. Problem. They were playing. When coaches try to get in the mix like this, and, and now we're influencing the game. I mean, I, 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 that upsets me to no end. And now, like I said, they are too soft on coaches. Coaches get DUIs, they get a slap on the wrist. The player gets a DUI, gets suspended and for fine, you know, fine. And fine. And fine. And hung, hung up like a witch. Yes. A player would have gotten cut. If, a, if one of the Jets players would have done that, Rex Ryan would have cut him now, on the spot. My question okay. is, what happened after he got tripped? He would have ran into one of those players standing down and injured them. No question. Then what would have happened? Man, it's. I mean, you know, we we could talk. We could talk the rest of the show on that one. It's we just that whole game here. for the Jets were bad. Yeah, it, it's just it's All just another it. it's just another little niche for the Jets. Right there. Hate on my Poor head. Your right. platinum armor is now. Anyway, copper. moving on. Brett Favre, the streak is officially over at 297. I mean, could this have happened? Yeah, thank you. Could this have finally? I mean, seriously, it should have happened in the beginning Favre, of the season. Are you it should have happened in the beginning. About him. No, we, we, we've been tired of talking about Brett Favre for what, three years now? I, I was going to say, I was tired of him when he went to the Jets. <laughs> when he was with the Jets, ago. I was like, okay, this would be his last stop. Because normally when a when a great quarterback leaves his original team, he plays for one more team, and then, and he, and then he, he moves leaves. on. And then he leaves. Not Farvey, no. Listen, and, they, no. And, and if you ask me, they should clearly put this guy on injured reserve. I have a serious problem with the fact that the he's still hanging around. Well, I know, they don't have anybody. Look, there's plenty of quarterbacks out there. They signed Patrick Ramsey this week. There's plenty of quarterbacks out there to pick up. At least they're going to start Joe Webb on Monday night against the Bears when in PFC receiver? Bank Stadium. When are you a receiver? You know why they started Joe Webb, right? Tavares is on IR. 
Tavares Jackson. He's on IR. Did, did, did you He's see done. the game? Uh, Tavares Jackson couldn't have played worse. I mean, look, the, 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 the Vikings need to do whatever they can do. Just lose the rest of your game so you get the best draft pick possible. Yeah, basically. Sure. And then trade like half of your roster and all your draft picks to move up and, and draft Except the quarterback. Except for the Williams brothers and Jared Allen. Don't trade them. Sure, no. And, them. and obviously Adrian or Peterson. Or give them to us. Everybody else, move up in the draft and try to get Andrew Luck. Or even at this point in time, if you want to really take a chance on a guy, Cam Newton. Yeah, because mm. mm. I'm just saying. I'm not yeah, sold on Cam yet. I don't think but that's so. a whole nutshell. Listen, now, week 15 is packed with some must-watch games. We're going to start out with Gerard here. Give it to us. Saints and Ravens. I like that I say it. Only for one reason. I'm a Ravens fan at 1 o'clock. I like That's that it. Game. Just That's because be I need the Saints to lose. I'm I, tired of them. I'm, I'm with you. I, I, I dislike the Saints very much, so whoever's playing see, I got them a different is one reason. of my favorite teams. I got a different reason. It's all about the Falcons. It's all about the Falcons. All whatever, about the Falcons. whatever I can use to advance my team. Sure. Kirsten, what do you got for us? I got the Jet Steelers. Great one. It's going to be good. We're looking for our first win in franchise history against this team. I got their bet. You need more than that. Of course, <laughs> true to form, I'm going to keep it in the NFC East here. Big game, Eagles, Giants. I love this game. I love watching that Eagles offense. Couldn't be any better, and I hope they put up 70 on the Giants and end all that debate about the Giants being one of the better teams in the NFC. I don't like, know about 70, but I think I'm they might put up 40. I, 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 they I, might put up 40. You know, I wasn't stomp on the How come you didn't pick the Patriots? They're playing the Packers. That's not a, that's the not a are gonna be that's they're gonna be eliminated. Watch it's not game. If Aaron Rodgers, they talk about, is, about a team who could hang seventy on somebody. <laughs> if Aaron Rodgers is playing, it's a much oh, watch. Goodness. If he's not playing, they're eliminated. Yes, because they are. if they go to Matt Flynn, look for the Packers offense. Seven out of eleven, maybe four hundred and fifty-seven yards, like they did against and Detroit. two yeah. interceptions <laughs> against the Lions. Well, let's wrap it up here. Let's get to everybody's favorite. I know this is your guys' favorite segment. You, you watch the whole show. Just to, just to get Gerard's final is it, thoughts. Am so, I going before you this Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. We don't have to worry about X chromosome with her. Not so, this week. So, <laughs> Before you walk in a, a mile of a man's shoes, take his shoes, walk that mile. Then you'll be a mile away from him and you'll still have his shoes. I don't know that I like that so one. So it's just about stealing someone's shoes? I wouldn't say stealing. We say acquire. Taking. Kind of like the Jets got taken. I don't know that I like that one. Like little <laughs> schoolgirls. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mine is have a good week, happy holidays, and spend lots of money. Well, I can do another. Stimulate the economy. Yes. Kirsten, Kirsten is, is about it's, I, I love the political the platform from which she speaks to stimulate the economy. <laughs> that was a number of ways. Anyway, that's another show. Um, no, it's <laughs> not. It's not even a real one. It's a reality show listen, on Oprah. Listen, I'm going to go ahead and go college football here. Mark Cuban. I hate college football. I love I like it. I just idea. want to hear what you got to say. Mark Cuban stood up yesterday and said he wants to take $500 million, put it in escrow, and attempt to entice college teams into a playoff system. I love this because I hate the BCS, I hate the bowl games, and Mark Cuban, I'm gonna give you some props here. A lot of people sit around and talk about things and they bitch about this and that and let's change this and that. Here's a guy who's actually stepping up and saying, I wanna change something and I've got the resources to do it. Let's do it. I like that. He has, he has too much money for me. That's awesome. He I love does. it. I love it too. Beautiful. It's week 15 on Sideline. We'll be back next week. Good luck this week. Love y'all. Every Saturday I'm tuning in, everybody know Jimmy Fair, what it do, you know that's the host We on the 50 yard line, 50 more to go My sideline TV on repeat Win the Super Bowl and never leave my fantasy And if you gotta work, well, you should call off They not like pre song show that they don't fall off we go Tune in, 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 tune in